I'm here at Eurobike 2015 with Bike Radar, and now I'm joining Ollie from DMR Bikes. I believe we've got a very special celebration for you guys. That we have, it's 20 years of DMR. And what do we have coming up for 2016? We have some exciting stuff. Thankfully, there's these death grips just right in front of us here, coincidentally. We've been working with these grips with uh, Brendan Fairclough. We've already worked with him on a pedal and I uh, wanted to expand the signature range. Um, so they're the death grip. What does that mean? What, what is so special about these grips? Death grips when you don't cover your brakes because you're going so fast and you need to hang on. And so what are the features of this death grip? How, does, how did these help you to death grip? The death grip is exactly what Brendan wanted from a grip. So it's single lock. We didn't want the bulge at the end. So it's tapered internally. So you only have one lock on here and it grips on the outside as well. We then have kind of a Frankenstein combination of three different grips. You've got kind of the knurl pattern, the moto waffle and the mushroom. And you've also got a uh, flange. I didn't want to say flange, I was trying to use a different word. Are you just making up these descriptions as we go along? They're all accurate, they're all accurate. Okay, so what, what do these descriptions mean to the layperson who might not understand the terminology that you're using? They mean exactly what Brendan wants we have in a grip. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> when you go from riding your trail bike and then riding World Cup downhill, it's quite a different thing. So your thumb is the first place to fatigue. It helps hand fatigue. This works in wet weather, which is the waffle. And then the knurl is kind of a standard pattern. We're offering it in two thicknesses for different hand sizes, five colours, some different compounds. I think they look fantastic. So I hear that you've got a really special bike to show us. We do, yes. We have a bike that fits in nicely with our 20th anniversary, a bike that's quite uh, key to DMR's success, the Trail Star. All right, let's go and take a look at it. So here it is, the Trail Star. It's got a slightly retro paint theme. That's the first thing that jumps out to me. Uh, yes, well, we're celebrating 20 years, so we thought we'd do a throwback edition. It's also available in a standard color. Okay, tell me, oh, you were the actual person that designed this bike, so you know it better than anyone. What decisions have been made? What, tell me as much as you can about this bike. Well, it was very difficult, actually, because the original Trail Star was quite an iconic product, and it was from a time where there weren't quite so many different riding categories and um, yeah disciplines in mountain biking so we tried to encapsulate everything about the original and put it in a new bike which means like a an all-mountain hardtail basically but it's a fun bike you know something for thrashing around in the woods on wicked so tell me a little bit about the angles you said that a lot of thought has gone into that yes a lot of thought has gone into it we want it to be again fun an aggressive fun hardtail it's got a low BB, a slack head angle, a short rear end. It's 27.5. It's also compatible with the fatter wheels, the plus size uh, 27 plus wheels. So it's got clearance for those. And it's got a dropout that's changeable, which means you can run the three inch plus size tires. Is this a limited edition only running for this year because of the, the um, anniversary celebrations? This color is yes. So it's the original graphics. So people might remember it, might not. I certainly do. It's like the bike of my dreams when I was a kid. Cool. Well, here it is. You've got your opportunity to ride it. So thank you very much, Ollie. No worries at all. Thank you.